Good morning, Yarny friends. Welcome to episode 31 of Yarning with Mimi. It is Sunday morning. It is the 17th, 18th, January the 19th. Um, this will just be a really short episode. I know I, I recorded last week, but I just wanted to show you a few things um, and let you in on a little, I guess not secret. I mean, it's not a secret, but I am moving again. This is like the third time in a year. First, I moved into an apartment, which was way too small and had an upstairs bedroom. And the stairs were just killers for me. My hips hurt so bad. Then we moved into this. I love this house. It's an older house. It's a beautiful house. But it's a little too big for us, for my daughter and me. It's... um not very energy efficient. Uh, we spend entirely too much on electricity. Um, it's got, it, I just love this house. It saddens me to have to leave it. I mean, my bedroom is beautiful. I have a yarn room with tons of windows in it. Um, but uh, it, it, we have two living areas and, you know, it's just way too big. Um, so my daughter did find another house. It is a cute house. Um, it is, uh, it has one living area. The kitchen is kind of small, but it has a nice dining area and uh, four bedrooms. Now, the bedrooms aren't as big as these bedrooms, but um, I get my own bedroom, of course, and my own bathroom, and I get one of the bedrooms for my yarn room. So I'm really happy about that. And um, it's in a really nice neighborhood, cost considerably less. And uh, electricity shouldn't be as much either. So anyways, as you can see over there, my cubbies are starting to get empty. I am packing stuff. My room is a disaster, but we've already started moving things that we can move. Uh, we've already started moving to the uh, other house. And this time I hired some movers. They'll be coming over on Thursday. My daughter is off on Thursday. And so we hired some movers for three to four hours to get all the big stuff like the bedrooms, the washer, dryer, the living room sets, and like the heavy stuff that we can't pack in our car and take. Whatever they can pack at this house in two hours is what they can take because I figure two more hours to unload and uh, that'll be four hours, $75 an hour for the movers. They bring their own truck, their own gas. I just pay the, pay the flat rate fee of $75 um, an hour. So that's going to be a much smoother move for us. So anyways, I'm really excited. Um, I'm not sure if my internet will be connected by next weekend or not. I'm going to try and see. But then again, the house is going to be in shambles, so I won't know where anything is. <laughs> but uh, let me um, let me just welcome everybody. Thank you for taking the time to join me. Uh, I notice I do have some new subscribers, so thank you all for hopping on board and, and joining us. Um, my name is Sherry Ann, also known as Mimi, which is what my grandchildren call me, hence Yarning with Mimi. As I said, this is episode 31. And it's really nice outside today. I actually can have the doors open so the cool air can circulate through the house. Um, so let me just jump right in into it. I don't have a whole lot to show you. I just wanted to really show you some progress. Um, as you know, if you've been watching Rose with Rose Likes Crochet, she has, uh, I think, teamed up with a, um, a, um, a charity. And she is requesting washcloths and uh, hats and scarves and, and the likes for, I think it's for domestic violence. The charity is called Wings. Please hop on over to Rose's channel. Uh, she does have a, an episode specifically dedicated to the charity she is uh, wanting to work with. So I have shipped off to her a uh, package of washcloths. Uh, I started out with 12, so I'm going to keep making them and send her more. So think. speaking of washcloths, let me show you some that I just finished making. As you know, I'm always working on washcloths. Um, these two are with the same yarn, but I just want to show you different designs. This is Grandma's 
favorite dishcloth or something like that. You can see the nice eyelet edges edging there. So I usually, it's, it's like a corner to corner and I usually uh, knit up to 47 and then I start decreasing. My new favorite dishcloth pattern is one that Ross with uh, Smells Like Yarn has created. It is called the Wallace. I think it's Wallace. <gasps> yeah, I think it's called the Wallace dishcloth. He names them after uh, race car drivers. And uh, it is posted on his website. So hop on over there to get this. But it's a really nice textured washcloth. And see how, how that turned out real nice. And this is 38 stitches. So go on over to Ross's website and get the uh, pattern for that. But it's turned out to be my uh, favorite dishcloth now. Okay, so last week I showed you a blanket I was working on for work. Um, I am donating a twin size afghan. It is a corner to corner afghan. And uh, the, the employee experience committee will be raffling off tickets uh, for the Valentine's draw. And uh, the money that they raise for that will go towards uh, the employee uh, Christmas party at the end of the year. So I have it folded up so it'll be easier to show. But this is what it looks like, red, white, and pink. I think it turned out really nice. And I put a ruffle edging on it. And the way I do my, see, it, it looks, it, it looks really nice in person. But the way I do my ruffle edge is after I finish the blanket, I uh, uh, cr single crochet all the way around the blanket. And then in each single crochet, I do five double crochet. So it gives you quite the uh, roughly look. And then after I finished that, I already started this, but I only had like one color of each done. But now I, I'm probably halfway through this blanket. But this is another uh, corner to corner. This is for my son's girlfriend. She really likes the primary colors. And what I'm going to do for this one, for this border, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to single crochet all the way around, and I'm going to use red and make a ruffle. She wanted a girly border. So I was either going to do the crab stitch, the reverse single crochet all the way around, or uh, uh, the ruffle. And she said she, she wanted it uh, to be a girly one. Okay. So those are really the only projects I've been working on, uh, the washcloths and the blankets for, oh, one more. I'll show you this one in a little bit for the last week because um, I really wanted to get that other blanket finished up. You know, working on the blankets don't take so long, but holy cow, that border took, seemed like it took forever to get that border done. Single crocheting all the way around and then five double crochet in each stitch. It just seemed like it took forever. So last podcast, I mentioned that one of um, my uh, viewers or Yarny sisters sent me a care package uh, to help with my charity work. And um, I fully intended on showing that this podcast because I did get permission. And thank you. Uh, a big, huge and heartfelt thank you goes out to Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. She uh, did send me some yarn to help with my hats and uh, my baby blankets uh, for my for my charities. But I wanted to show you what she sent me. And unfortunately, that's one of the boxes that already got carried over to the other house. So in my next podcast, if I remember, I'll take the box. I'll look for that box because there's all kinds of stuff in my yarn room already in no order whatsoever until I get my cubbies over there so I can put my yarn back in. All I did was take all the yarn out of my cubbies and throw it in great big, huge green garbage bags. And so now I need to uh, take them all out and put them back in my cubbies once the movers get my cubbies over there in the room. So Rose, um, thank you so much. Um, I just, it, you, you were so generous and um, I love everything you sent. So when I showed this last week, I have a little more progress made on it. These usually only take me a few hours to make. But when I get tired working on the great big Afghans, I just pick this up and work on it for a little while. As a matter of fact, this is what I work on at lunchtime 
Um, I have a, a knitting basket at work and I have an hour for lunch and I really don't need an hour for lunch, but I use it to knit. And so I knit preemie blankets when I'm at work. But this is one of the balls of yarn that Rose sent. Um, actually, it came in a package of three. It is called Ice Cream Sprinkles. It's by Lion Brand. And um, this one is called Cool Mint. This is what it looks like. And here is a preemie blanket that I'm making with it. So it's a little bigger than last time, not much. Only a couple more rows. So I already started using your yarn rows. Thank you so much. Put that back down there. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm moving the table. You're, you are propped up on a little, little wooden, tiny TV tray. A TV table um, and I keep hitting it so I'm so sorry if I'm making you dizzy so anyways that's all of the uh, life happenings right now um, I just wanted to show you my progress with uh, my Valentine's blanket because I will be taking that to work tomorrow so I won't have that anymore and then as I progress on my red yellow and blue one. I'll show you that when it gets finished and then anything else that I finish in the meantime. All right, y'all. I hope you have a really good rest of your Sunday. It is 1052 here. Um, I have a lot of packing to do, so I'll be bagging up that, all of that, or all of that and uh, some more stuff. So what I want to do is bag up enough stuff so that when the movers come in, all they have to do is just grab the big stuff and go. Whatever boxes and bags that are laying around that are already packed, if they can throw them in the truck, I'll have them take them. Otherwise, we're taking a little bit every day, and it's usually my, my big bags of stuff. We're, I have two closets that were completely full. My two closets are emptied already. Um, and, uh, most of my cubbies are emptied. So, um, having the movers for half a day to take care of the big stuff, because the last two times my daughter and her friend did it all, all of it in a pickup truck. And, um, we didn't do a U-Haul or anything. And so it just took forever. And I don't want them to have to go through that again. Alrighty. So have a really good Sunday. Um, have a good week during the week. And if I do have my internet next Saturday, I will hop on just to give you an update. <laughs> Not going to be much of an update, just a messy house, but, um, but I will, I'll hop on if I have my internet connected by then. And, um, remember show and spread the kindness. Thank you all. Bye-bye for now. Love y'all.